This is to heal them. Social media have shown photographs of Rabalojo spraying doom aerosol on volunteers during his church service at the weekend at the Mount Zion General Assembly. The 24-year-old said people came with injuries and after they were sprayed, they were healed. Rabalajo has been dubbed the prophet of doom. He says he is glorifying God by spraying his congregation. For more on this, let's speak to the prophet himself. Letabo Rabaloha is on the line. Prophet, thanks for joining us. Hello, how are you? Yeah, I'm good. Talk to me about the, the comments. What is your response to the comments made by the East ACDP that uh, self-styled prophets abuse congregations? Yeah, you know what, man? Um, many are ashamed of the gospel that they preach. Um, that is why you see them not not practicing the other side of the gospel because this is the practical path, you see. Um, and we are led by the Spirit, and I'm not ashamed of the gospel that I preach. See. This is the gospel of Christ. Sorry, I, I, I struggled to hear you there for a second. You said this is the gospel of? This is the gospel of Jesus Christ. We are not ashamed. Not ashamed to be spraying doom into your congregants' faces, uh, even though you know the dangers of doom. The thing is that when you are carrying the spirit Christ, when you are carrying the spirit Christ, mm, everything that you do is the impossible. So I deal with the impossible because I believe in Christ. He will never put me to shame. <laughs> that is why we don't have fear. We know uh, the fact that we know what can happen. But once you hear the word from above. You are not shaking. All these things, if someone can come and say, I'm having a problem with one, two, three, and I, I believe there, there is a photo there of a young guy who came there with an issue of ice, where we sprayed in the ice immediately, his eyes were clear. He, over, he opened up his eyes. So these are the words of Jesus Christ. So what you're saying is you sprayed doom into this man's eyes, and his eyes are now fine. He's, yes. been, he's been healed. Yes. But... Uh, Pastor, with all due respect, I mean, you've, you've read statements that have come out from uh, the, 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 the company that basically brings doom into the country, and they are saying, please, they're trying to contact you to say it's exceptionally dangerous to spray this into people's faces because you could cause irreparable damage to them, and that this is a risk to people's health. Do you not, do, do, does this not concern you? Is it biblical or what? It's biblical. You see? That's the main thing. It's biblical. Yeah. Biblical. Everything that we are doing is biblical. So we believe in God. We it's biblical. God. It's, it's biblical. So when you... we believe in God, we are practicing what we believe in. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Prophet, have you ever had doom sprayed in your face? Hello? Have you ever had doom sprayed in your face? Have I ever? Prophet, the question that I'm asking you is, have you ever had the doom sprayed in your face? Normally when I do things, I do it over myself first. If I'm eating a flower, if I'm eating grass, I take it and eat first. Okay? To yeah. show that I'm in the spirit. Yeah. So, so you're saying that you have sprayed the doom into your face. You have done this before. Yeah. Yeah, and, and you find that it's not a problem, that it's absolutely fine for you to be doing this? Yes, I believe in everything. That's why I said we are in the Spirit. How can we question the Spirit? These are the words of the Spirit. Carnal people cannot understand it. These are the words of the Spirit. Like, from, listen, you look at my age, you check where, you know, it's not me who decides to do all these things. It's God. Yeah. It's God. So, uh, if I were to ask you a question now, to show that this are miracles, I asked one journalist yesterday, I said, because he was giving me tough questions, I asked him, I said, who is the mother of God? You see, who created? And then he did not, I said, it's a miracle on its own. So there are miracles that will bring confusion, but at the end of the day, they bring glory to the house of the Lord and to the nation as a whole. Yeah. Uh, Prophet, if you really believe that you are able to heal people, why put them in danger? I mean, if you feel that God has given you the ability to heal people, why not just touch them the way that other prophets perhaps do that? Why not just put your hand on their forehead and put whatever you feel that you have inside them into them? Why endanger them? Why belittle your followers the way you are? You see, I, I, I don't, like, I'm not saying this. 
Lay of hands is an elementary teaching, you see. It's elementary teaching. It means that you are limited, you see. And Paul comes and says, do not be quick to lay hands on, you know, on people, you see. So some of the things, uh, it, it, it's a practice that shows that God is alive. God can use, and most of the time we say, with God all things are possible, but we have not tested. One man has to rise among the nations. A young man has to rise and show the world that God can do it, and with God all things are possible. Yeah. Um, Prophet, I, you know, we're running out of time and I, and I almost feel like I'm actually not getting anywhere here because I think you, you believe in one thing and yet the, 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 the reaction to what you are doing has been immense and people are very upset with the way that you're tre treating congregants. In terms of money, do, do people pay you to do this? I, I can't get the question. You think? The question is, do people pay you to heal them? Do they pay I you to know. spray doom at them? I am not a healer. They will never praise me. They praise God. I am not a healer. I am just a human being, just like you. But I don't spread doom at people. So I don't yeah. think we can compare ourselves to each other. So if you are just a human being and you're not a healer, then what are you doing? It's an instruction from above. I am not uh, alive. Christ is alive in me. Uh, Prophet, we need to we need to look further into this. Unfortunately, our time has run out. But uh, um, are, it, does it fear you in any way that people are calling for your arrest? Does do you worry? Does this worry Hello. you? Hello. Are you scared in any way that people are calling for your arrest due to this? No, I'm not afraid. If I'm arrested for the gospel of Jesus Christ, I will enter in those cells and I will continue to do what the Lord has called me to do. Let's leave it there. That's the, uh, the prophet talking to us here. He's become known as the prophet of doom um, and uh, giving us his rationale behind why he sprays doom into his congregants' faces and saying he's not a healer, but uh, he's uh, the chosen one. And it's, uh, it's, it's biblical. It's not doom. It's, it's biblical. All right.